So now that your colon or rectal cancer has been diagnosed and treated, it's time to talk about follow-up. Follow-up is very important for two reasons. First, we know that patients who have been treated for colon and rectal cancer can sometimes have that cancer come back. The goal of follow-up would be to catch this cancer very early and treat it. Second, we know that patients who have had a history of colon and rectal cancer can develop new polyps or even other cancers. Again, the goal of follow-up is to catch these cancers or polyps very early. We know that if a cancer is going to come back, it's most likely to do so within the first two years. For this reason, your doctor will keep a close eye on you, seeing you every three to four months for the first two years. After two years, your doctor may spread out your visits to every six months. Follow-up typically lasts five years. At your follow-up, your doctor will want to know how you've been doing since your last visit. They may ask questions like, have you been feeling tired lately? Are you having any rectal bleeding? Have you had any change in your bowel habits? Or are you having any unintentional weight loss? Your doctor will then perform a physical exam and look for any concerning findings. An important part of your follow-up will be another colonoscopy. We typically recommend that this be done at a year from your surgery date. We recommend this for two reasons. First, we like to check and see that the cancer has not come back. And second, we're checking to see if you are growing any new polyps. Future colonoscopies are usually done every three years. At your follow-up visit, your doctor may perform some blood tests. One of these blood tests is called a CEA level. CEA is a tumor marker that is made by some colon and rectal cancers. Not all colon and rectal cancers will make CEA. Your doctor will check this CEA blood test over time. We know that if the CEA level is rising over time, that could indicate that the cancer has come back and it may lead to additional testing. Additional testing could include a CT scan, PET scan, or MRI. So what if we do detect that your cancer has come back? Your doctor will perform additional testing and make recommendations based on these findings. Your treatment may include surgery to remove the cancer recurrence, or it may include chemotherapy. Colon and rectal surgeons are experts in the surgical and non-surgical treatment of diseases of the colon, rectum, and anus. They have completed advanced surgical training in the treatment of these diseases, as well as full general surgical training. Board certified colon and rectal surgeons complete residencies in general surgery and colon and rectal surgery and pass intensive examinations conducted by the American Board of Surgery and the American Board of Colon and Rectal Surgery. They are well versed in the treatment of both benign and malignant diseases of the colon, rectum, and anus and are able to perform routine screening examinations and surgically treat conditions if indicated to do so.